Coming up next, Foothill High School students take part in the Create Don't Hate campaign, plus national recognition for Rancho High School's baseball team. These stories, plus much more, coming up on Inside Education. Welcome to Inside Education, I'm Dave Sheehan. Graphic arts students at Foothill High School recently designed billboards for the Create Don't Hate campaign. And it was to raise awareness for issues ranging from domestic abuse to animal cruelty. Cade Cridlin visited the school and files this report. While on the surface, this looks like one of the professional art shows you find in downtown Las Vegas. For Maureen Clark, a graphics design teacher at Foothill High School, it's a visual representation of how far her students have come in just two years of the graphic arts program. The class that did this is my second year computer graphics class. So um, I had all these students last year. They were learning Illustrator, they were learning Photoshop, Corel Painter, learning about design. This year in the second year class, the students were focusing on projects, not the software, but actually what can we do with the software to um, create some interesting projects. And we've done things like self-portraits and um, advertisings and you know package design those type of things. I'd love to do a large-scale project with them because when you do a large-scale project there's all sorts of issues that you don't have when you're doing small items. Resolution you have to deal with and uh, things like that. So this is our large-scale project that we did. One component of the program allowed community mentors to work with groups of students over a four-week period. Part of the program with Design and Exchange is teaming up high school students with mentors and over these four weeks, that's what we did. Um, I spent about a month finding mentors to bring into the classroom. Uh, we had about half of them were professional mentors that were in the industry, and the other half were college students uh, from the Art Institute, UNLV, um, who have had some design experience to come in and mentor the students. The mentors came in once a week, worked with the students, Students worked, they came in the following week and they you know, did progress checks, critiqued their work, um, looked to see what was working, what wasn't working, what needed to be changed, and they also communicated back and forth through emails. So it was a really nice partnership between the adults and the students and uh, sharing their expertise. It worked out nice. Carlos Martinez is a mentor from the Art Institute. For him, it was a great opportunity to work with the next generation of graphic artists. I got involved with them through the Art Institute. I am a current student at the Arts Institute. I am about three quarters away from graduating. So it was a really gar uh, a great opportunity to come and uh, work with the community, give something back. I mentored four students. Uh, I think it was out of 28. It was uh, really great. I had to uh, work with them from concept to finish. It was a really great uh, process, having to be a part of their creative process and yet guide them at the same time. Students Andrew Stett and Brittany Pierce say the knowledge they gain from their mentors is irreplaceable. We would email each other and I would email him my designs and um, where I was at so far and he would give me tips on what to change and if I needed to change the font style to change that and then um, he gave me insight on where I should arrange things on my billboard and um, gave me tips about that kind of stuff. He taught me a lot of um, rules of design. Um, he taught me about thirds, um, balancing things. Uh, he really showed me a few other tools and how to use them on Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, and um, yeah, he's, he's really helped me a lot. This helped a lot because this is the business that I want to go into and it gave me a lot of pointers about how to get into the business, how to grow through the business, so it, it helped a lot. According to Martinez, he sees a bright future ahead for the graphic arts students at Foothill High School. So it was really surprising that the students were so advanced and that they had the facilities that they have. So to see them with uh, the, this sort of advanced equipment and really advanced studies 
is really something uh, great for them. I think it's a real great benefit if they ever chose to keep uh, with with uh, that that uh, career. For Inside Education, I'm Cade Cridland. Mm -hmm.